phone five, okay? Uh, it's very happy to see you here, okay? Uh, you are coming back to school next Wednesday, okay? So we'll, I will see you more often compared to now, okay? Uh, so today we're going to ask, uh, and I will also take the attendance today. So uh, in case you only uh, type down your name and leave the class, I'm going to ask you questions, okay? Only if you answered my question, I will take your attendance. If not, I count you as absent, okay? So now take out your theme book. Take out your theme book, theme book. Okay, and let's go to page 153. 153, okay? So you may look at the question first. So I'll give you one minute to look at the question first. Okay, so let's look at page 153, okay, 153. Um, if you only look at the question, uh, the, uh, the question here, the task here, okay, you will feel, maybe you will feel very confused. What shall I uh, write down here, okay? But uh, if, you, if you still remember that we have uh, talked about the passage on uh, 152 before, okay? If you still remember this passage, I draw a mind map with you, okay? So if you still remember this passage, uh, you will find this, uh, this task is quite easy, okay? This task will be easy for you. Okay, so now let's, uh, maybe let's go to 153 first. Let's look at the orange column, okay? Okay, let's look at this part first. So there are three pictures. There are three pictures here, okay? Uh, the three pictures are talking about, talks about uh, different environment issues, problems happen in Hong Kong. So if we look at the first one, we call this one flood, okay, Hong sorry, serious flood. So now what you are going to do is, you need to find, uh, you need to find a paragraph which talks about flood, okay? And then how about this one? This one should be very clear, uh, or, or very obvious. So uh, we have a lot of buses in Hong Kong, right? This is all, uh, I always complain about this one. Uh, when I was, uh, when I am waiting for the buses, the air is really, uh, is the quality of the air is really uh, low, it's really bad, okay? So, um, so as I mentioned, this one talks about the buses uh, affect our air quality, and this one is called air pollution, right? And then the last one, landfills, okay, landfills. So if we go back to page 152, 152, you will find that there are three paragraphs. The main body contains three paragraphs. So can you write down paragraph B, C, D according to the picture? Okay, so for example, the first picture, uh, Paragraph A talks about the first picture, maybe, okay? Paragraph B talks about the second picture. So can you and label the picture with the paragraphs, okay? Paragraph B, C, and D, okay? 
I'll give you two minutes. Okay, you have to answer uh, my question here. Okay, you need to answer my question here. So now let's go back to uh, 152, okay? We have checked the answers before, right? Um, so for the, for paragraph B, it talks about waste disposal, okay? Disposal. Okay, so if, um, so according to the three pictures, the picture one, two, three, which one is? paragraph B, so it should be very clear. Uh, the third one talks about the waste, right? And then another issue of global concern is air pollution. So this is picture number two, the buses one, okay? And then the last one, global warming. Okay, so in, the, uh, in our first picture, it talks about flood. We do remember it talks about flood. So now let's highlight the keywords in global warming, okay? You will find the word flood here, right? Flood. So if we look at the host, the complete sentence is natural disasters such, such as blah, blah, blah are becoming more severe and more frequent. So how do you describe the problem? How do you describe the environmental issues for the first one? Okay, so we may write down so we may, we may write down serious floods like this. Okay, so you have to pay attention to the word serious. Serious means in Zhongge, so as we already uh, talked, uh, uh, used the word serious, do we need to repeat severe again? I don't think so, right? So we only need to write down uh, becoming more frequent, okay? Uh, becoming more fre frequent. Okay, and then let's go to the air pollution one, okay? The air pollution one. So what is the problem issue, the environmental issue related to our uh, air pollution. So let's go back to paragraph C, right? Another issue of global concern is air pollution. The problem affects oh, not only the visibility, but also the health of residents. It's also about our health. So if we look at this picture, do you think visibility is mentioned in this picture? Is the visibility included in this picture? I don't think so, right? Everyone is hiding their mouth and nose. So it talks about our health. Okay, so in Hong Kong, air pollution is affecting our health. Do you need to mention, do you need to mention the uh, visibility 
I don't think so, right? I don't think so. This picture is not about the visibility. Okay, and then let's go to the last one, landfills. We cannot continue. We can't. What can't we do, okay? Let's go to waste disposal. On average, each of us produces over 10 kilograms of waste a day. Wonder our landfills are reaching cap capacity, we simply cannot, cannot, right? Cannot, what cannot do? Cannot keep tipping our waste into the ground forever. So what is the answer? I can copy the answer directly from the passage. We cannot continue tipping our waste into the ground forever. Okay? So this one is B, and this one is D, all right? I think this is not difficult, okay? And then let's look at how to solve the problem, okay? Solutions to the problem. Okay, the solu solutions to the problems. Maybe let's look at the floods first. Uh, so how to solve the problem of global warming? and how to solve the problem of uh, air pollution and also the waste disposal. So let's, again, we have to go back to 152, okay? So let's look at uh, global war warming first. What is the solution? Last time I mentioned actually using alternative sources of energy. Alternative, like Norge, okay? Use alternative sources of energy, energy energy能量, such as solar power, and wind power. And wind power is one of the reducing our carbon footprint, okay? So this is the way how to reduce our carbon uh, a footprint, okay? Therefore, uh, let's look at our pictures here, okay? On page 153. So this is very clear. Solar panels, right? Higher. Solar panels. So using alternative sources of energy help our to reduce our carbon footprint. Okay, and then this one, very clear, it should be related to uh, landfills, right? Waste disposal. So let's go back to paragraph B, okay, paragraph B. So how do we solve the problem of the landfills reaching capacity? Uh, capacity? Uh, by recycling our domestic waste. Domestic, 家庭的, You and I can be part of the solution. So if we recycle, we will be part of the solution, right? Separating plastics, aluminium, can, aluminium cans, and paper can, can make, uh, and paper can make a big difference to the amount of da 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 da. Okay, so we have to separate different kind of rubbish. Okay, so. This one, paragraph B, recycling domestic waste help to solve the problem of waste disposal. Okay, the last one, so we should go to air pollution. So what is the solution of air pollution? Using cleaner fuels such as LPG can help to reduce air pollution as can taking public transport. You can also take pu public transport. Cycling, or walking, rather than using cars, okay? So using cleaner for fuels reduce air pollution. Okay, so uh, I think this one should be easy for you, okay? If you have read uh, the passage and you have gone through, you have drawn the mind map with me, uh, two weeks ago, okay? So um, this is for the vocabulary part today, okay? And later, we will continue to talk about 
your self-assessment of the reading passage, okay, of the universe. Okay, I will pass time to uh, Mr. Wong, okay? Okay, class. So, like, uh, please turn to like uh, page one hundred and sixty-four. Like, uh, one hundred and sixty-four. Okay. Last time, like, uh, we have covered like uh, the first part uh, of the reading. Well, uh, do you remember like uh, when we talk about the rooftop garden, like the HSBC one, the one that like uh, in Bangkok? Okay. So, like the last time, like um, when we like uh, finish like talking about like this part of like uh, the rooftop uh, the roof garden when we talk about like the uh, all the questions and the answers like uh, we didn't have time like because uh, we well, last time we might have like 15 minutes so last time we didn't like talk about like uh, what do you think about like the rooftop garden like uh, do you like to visit oh uh, zoom in a little bit closer for the question uh, yes do you like to visit like a park I mean, is it like something that like uh, you always like to like stroll through when you like going through a park? I just want to like uh, listen to some of you guys like uh, input about like when you're talking about like a uh, rooftop garden. And yeah, what do you think? Anyone just like uh, say something about like uh, interesting thing about like uh, these gardens? So see that like uh, it doesn't just like uh, benefit like uh, towards the env uh, benefit towards the environment but it also like uh, the roof garden like uh, give like some aesthetic value and it also like uh, can give some uh, a sense of pleasure like in a, in a pleasing like uh, for people visiting there well let's just like, talk about like uh, some famous like uh, roof garden like uh, in history Maybe some of you have heard that like there was seven wonders in the ancient world and then like uh, you know you have heard of the like uh, Babylonians their uh, hanging garden so the hanging garden is like a uh, sort of the ancient version of this kind of like a uh, roof garden and in fact like some of these roof garden like a uh, archi architect they said that like uh, they got the design the ideas from the Babylon, the imaginary like Babylonian like uh, hanging garden, but like uh, regardless. So let's just like uh, go on like uh, and continue talking about like uh, the roof gardens. All right. So let's just like go to like the second part of like uh, uh, of this part of my reading. So, okay, let's just like uh, read like a, uh, okay, let's just like go back to read the instruction again and then like uh, in case like uh, you don't remember the geography teacher wants your school to be more environmental friendly he gives you some clippings to read and some questions to check your understanding read the clippings and complete the questions on page 165 alright so, you remember like this one like uh talk about like uh, the garden or HSBC like over the breath of fresh air and talk about like how much it can benefit the environment and then like uh, remember the part saying that like uh, oh most of the property owner in Hong Kong they thought that like uh, these kind of like roof garden are expensive but in fact they are not they are kind of inexpensive too and okay we'll see okay Talk back from the email uh, email forum, and then what do you think of the SBC roof garden? What do you think? Well, we got us what you think, but like, uh, okay, so the, let's just like, okay, remember like a few years, okay, this book is like published back in like 2009. That is almost like 11 years ago, right? So, if that's something that like happens like 10 years ago so do you what do you think about like uh do you think that this like rooftop garden did it like uh, become more popular 
uh, in the last decade or so, or like uh, it kind of like phrased out, remember? I just like, uh, why don't you recall, like, can you give me some hints? Something like about the uh, city university? I don't know, it, like, some of you remember a few years ago, like, uh, uh, at City University and then like uh, one of the spot complex like uh, they installed like some one of these like a rooftop garden and eventually and they put like a I think something about like they put too much water and something about like related to the concrete thing and then like uh, the entire rooftop just collapsed and fortunately no one get hurt and then after that uh, most of the most places like in Hong Kong they just like uh, completely taken out like this rooftop garden and citing some like uh, safety concerns. Oh, this book rooftop garden rooftop garden 之後已經很久沒有人再說過RooftopGarden了 OK, but regardless, this is a sidetrack Just saying that like, uh, okay You heard about like all these like amazing things about like the uh, rooftop garden And then like why it didn't become like more popular No, it's not because like people are not advanced enough It's just because that one accident But like, anyway, that's just a sidetrack Okay, okay, paragraph one We'll just like go and talk about it Like, it just, let's just read it together HSBC's rooftop garden in Mong Kok is amazing. If I were looking for work and I were offered two jobs, the fact that one of the workplaces had such a garden and the other did not would help me make my decision. Okay. This. Okay, like, uh, although like, you don't care about grammar, like, okay. Uh. If I were looking for work and were offered two jobs, okay, this is a conditional sentence, right? Does any one of you remember like which conditional is this? Anyone remember? Well, this is like a type two, like a uh, conditional sentence because like you're talking about something like imaginary cases. And then like uh, and then like they was like oh uh, looking for work and I'm like it's an imaginary status okay, but okay last year look at this one so what does it mean by like the other that did not have, would help me to make my decision would help me to make my decision is the okay this is the result so. What does that mean? Like, uh, help me make my decision. If you have So, it's an implication. It's implying that, like, a, uh, it, one of them, like, because having a garden mean that, like, oh, that would just, like, uh, doesn't, that would just help me to decide, like, right there, like, I. You really have a garden, I pick this job. Alright, so, but this is like a really interesting way to say things. Like, uh, it's something like a uniquely like a uh, time with, uh, to English, but anyway. So, let's just like uh, look at the question. So, right here. Okay. Oh, um, I think like uh, Renee Poon. Wing Z, like uh, this person, it is the, the author of this email. So, and then let's just look at the question. So, okay, let's just read like a uh, instruction. Complete the summary below. Write one word in each space provided. You can use your own word or words taken from the text. That mean that like a, uh, your answer, you can either use your own word that is fine, but like uh, but in the model answer, you can also find that word like in the text itself. Okay, let's just read like uh, the first question. Renee Poon has a 
blank attitude towards rooftop garden because okay so we're now looking for okay the word attitude mean title so now we're looking for like a word like a, what kind of word are we looking for like what part of speech noun adjective verb what are we looking for adverb what are we looking for preposition all right right here we are looking for a we are looking for a adjective we're talking about like we're describing the attitude right and then and we look at the text and we find that like a uh, okay right here so when we talk about the attitude we always say something like a positive like a uh, attitude negative attitude and here like they even give you another like a uh, higher uh rank word that is like favorable okay so because right here like a uh, rene like uh poon like she wrote and chapter see what amount of is amazing when we talk about something amazing that means that like it's good and then like uh, right here and that's why right here is a positive uh attitude all right so because they okay let's just look at like question number two uh, uh, eight number eight right here the second one okay now we know like renee poon like uh the author she has a positive attitude towards the rooftop garden and now we're looking for because they improve the okay improve like a uh, when because i hear right here like they have a because then why they seen and then like the day here is a pronoun and they like uh, referring to this rooftop garden and now like a uh, we got the word like a here improve and then like uh, we, when we say talk about like, improve like uh, what kind of thing we normally talk about when we talk about the word improve something well let's just like uh go on and then like uh, we know like what kind of thing like uh, she think it proved right okay so paragraph two just remember like uh, we're looking for something that like a uh the par uh something that the author think that like uh these rooftop garden improved okay a wolf okay let's just read it with me a roof garden is a comfortable place for staff to rest. Do you want to have like a uh, roof garden for like a uh, for students at this school for you to rest? Uh, it's a place that for you to hang out with your friends, something like eat your lunch. What do you think? Well, I uh, this is not a. Uh, Okay, like uh, this is just like a uh, English lesson, so don't take it like too seriously. If you have any like recommendation comments, so, like uh, make sure you like uh, deliver to the school so that you want a roof garden, not me. Okay, anyway, it also enables them to communicate more, which is good for staff relations. So right here is that like uh, a place will rest, and then like uh, oh the like it. They said this is a pronoun and describing a roof garden and this roof garden also enable like mean that like allow them like them referring to the staff to communicate more lady get roof garden na jing hoi ba yu na mi do ge ling do lady ge yuan gong na gam jiao hui lai kou duo di kou tong ye gam ni ge jiao hai bei yao ling do yao gang gao hou ge yu do you think that like uh, this is the reason this is the reason that like uh, she has a positive attitude towards towards like a uh, roof garden well maybe but like uh, but this is talk about like, improve like uh, maybe but like uh, we can just like uh, keep it keep it in mind and then like uh, we go on like keep looking like maybe we'll see something better answer if not let's just like come back to this one okay let's just like look, look at like uh here the second one 
She also believes they are good for stuff because they provide a place for them to rest and blank to one another. Okay, now we know that like, uh, cause we talk about like a, uh, we talk like for stuff to rest, communicate more, and but right here they improve something. So it it does not like uh, it likely right here is not talking about uh, they improve the staff relationship because well staff relationship would be a good answer except right here is that white one word and then you can't just say they like improve relationship without specify like a, a defined relationship that's why why here we can't write something about like talk about a staff relationship it has to be something else especially right here you have this interesting preposition also and then like the word also right here tell you that like okay she's like sharing an, an other idea something that like does not okay because she also believe that mean that like this is like a belief number one okay make sure that you know like the uh the noun version is b e i r e f and right here like the second sentence is believe number two that means that like uh, these two are not like co uh, they they are coherent but they are not identical Because Okay, now like a uh, uh, look at this one. Okay, let's just like go on like a uh, finish question uh, number nine. Okay, because they provide a place for them to rest and also right here like uh, now we are like guessing the part of speech what kind of part of speech are we looking for well because are we looking for noun are we looking for like a uh, an adjective okay right here here's the clue like uh, you have the word like uh, to rest to rest here and then that means that like uh, this is like bleak and out of verb and then what are the things that like uh, you do with one another? Something that like uh, we talk about. Well, let's just let look back the text. Right here. So it also enable the text, uh, them to communicate more, which is good for the staff relations. So because of how good of for staff relations, we know that like this is the part we're looking for. The rest, we got the rest part, is communicate more, right? So that means that like right here to what one another to communicate to one another well that's a good guess but 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 no because when we say like communicate we use another preposition we use with and that's uh communicate communication to one another. So because you can't say like communicate to one another, it's gotta be like talk. You just like you got the same idea the same meaning, communicating and talk to one another, communicating and basically the same idea except that like you have you have to like fit this text up here. Okay, you have to like fit this text. 
So that's why it's got to be talk to one another. Okay, continue. She thinks that rooftop garden should be blank, not only in Mong Kok, but in all area where there are a lot of buildings. Gam ka gam ala hoi la. Kui ya ko ta rooftop garden la, jau ying goi. Not only in Mong Kok, but in all areas, but where there are a lot of buildings. Okay, let's just like uh, make some assumption. Should be. So, whenever you see a should, and normally it follow with a verb. And for, when we like follow with a verb, and now we got the verb, and like a be, like. When I go should get a verb. What kind of word are we looking for? So it is so we are looking for like a past participle and then like what is it? So we are looking for a So we are looking for like a word that like you have passive voice in it So and then like a uh, yeah that means that like uh, we have we should look for like uh, this kind of verb and then like uh, Let's just like go put like okay she think that should be not only in Mong Kok but in all area and even if you don't look at the text and you can just guess like should be exist or something like that so let's just look at the text what kind of word that like you're uh, looking for all right people have com uh, commented that it is good for Mong Kok because the air is so bad there However, it is not only in Mong Kok, okay, here's the clue, not only in Mong Kok, okay, we're looking for the answer, it was right here, where the pollution problem is serious, even in Yunlong, where people think it's just countryside, there is need for such facilities, such facilities, lady get roof garden, in fact, every part of the city where there is a lot of concrete will benefit from the construction of roof gardens. So now we know that like uh, what we're looking for, we're looking for a word that like a uh, right here, construction, construction, it is a noun. Construction, it's a construction. Okay, she thinks that like right here, like not only in Mong Kok, right? She uses like a Yunong as an example, and that means that like uh, right here, mean that like uh, oh maybe like uh, this rooftop garden should be construction constructed build Okay uh, you see that like uh, constructed and built right here and then like these two are like the more common one because this is like a, a key so like construction okay and then you construct it but like uh, this is the noun and you change it into a verb and a part possible form and that's why it's right here is constructed or like built and then right here you can also use like uh, some higher level word with like implemented and then like or established but yeah either way so we're looking for a word like this. So, okay. Let's just continue to read the last one. Last, uh, the last sentence. She also thinks that rooftop garden become more common. They will become 
Okay, make sure you remember, like, uh, we have a feeling that I'm making yeah. Um, they will become blank to fill. So, and then, like, you have the word fill here. And so she also thinks that rooftop garden becomes more than doctor. It only in my lap, they will fill up the bean that can go, so you know, curry days or bean that can go, but yeah, to build. Okay, so now become, become what right here? So we are looking for what kind of word we're looking for? Well, we're looking for a what we're looking for, adjective. We're looking for, for a verb. Well, we have a verb here, and we have a subject here, and then like a, uh, and what are we looking for? Well, this time, we are looking for an adjective here. Like, uh, because like uh, right here, they become blah to be you, and then like uh, it's talking about like a, um, uh, it's talking about like a con contrast word, like common, and then we are looking for a word here, it's like an adjective. And she also think that would probably become more common. Okay, then just like has anyone like a uh, study like economics before? Don't okay, let's just think about this. So when like a product is like com a goods, a product of goods is commercialized and then it will become what? Well, even if I did not look at the text, I'm I'm safely assume it's gonna be cheaper. Or like it's more economic, like the bill. It's just, it's just this way. It's just like a con uh, economy. Okay, let's just like continue to read the last paragraph. Maybe it is expensive. Okay, now I got a good hunch. I uh, know. Maybe it is ex expensive to launch such a project. Launch, I got back to my base. Me, you see, that they got on the launch of project, they just got the uh, they got the job lah. However, if more firms, firms are not making them, this is a thing. This is the company start building these gardens. We could see technological advance and cost could go down. We can see that the technology is going to go down. We can see that the technology is going to go down. We can see that the technology is going to go down. We can see that the technology is going to go down. But if it is an other initiative aimed at helping us to save the planet, okay. This is going to say, if you have so many people who are in technological advance, my cost go down. Or they can see if they have technological advances and cost could go down. So which one is it? Cost go down or what? Because it can become like a Technological advance to build, so like something like easier to build, or it's we're talking about like easier to build. What do we mean by easier to build? But this like doesn't quite like make sense because like if you ever describe like uh, technological advance, but like you have used more verb, uh, words. So like a uh, but right here, because you can only like be in one word, and then it make more sense like cost go down. It just talk about like uh, it is cheaper to build right here. Does the cost go down? Okay. 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 Well, we improve the environment. So right here, like a shoe is worth taking an initial aim at helping us to save the planet. Improve like uh, the planet, that's fine. Improve the earth, that's fine. But right here. So, this has been a common theme uh, when we talk about like uh, uh, environmental protection and just environmental friendly ideas. So that's why it gotta be improve the environment. So, anyway, so these are all the answers for uh, the second part of this like uh, rooftop garden. Now, after like you type talk about my my updates, like uh, my news update regarding this like rooftop garden, and you have read like uh, these two uh, article towards like rooftop garden. What do you think about rooftop garden? Please like comment below and then like uh, 
tell us what you think about rooftop garden. Would you like to have a rooftop garden like in your home? Or would you like to have a rooftop garden like at your school? Just let us know. So that's it for today. So make, you, make sure that you turn in your homework and see you on 27th of May. That will be our last uh, online lecture. So goodbye.